Hi to everyone and welcome to a new episode of the PS3 Collecting Guide where I give you some advice on rare slash valuable PS3 titles and share with you my experience in getting them. But let's start. The first one is Agarest Generations of War, better known in North America as Record of Agarest War, published in Europe by Ghostlight in 2009 and developed by Idea Factory and Compile Heart. Uh, it's a niche game, a sort of tactical strategy RPG that scored 67 on Metacritic. Um, this is the UK Peggy version. Um, this game costs around 15 euros and in my opinion will become collectible down the line. Um, there is a second episode and a prequel, Record of Agarest War Zero, that I'm still looking for. Um, but if you find this game under 10 euro, then pick it up. I also like the cover art of this game. So the next one is Apache Air Assault. Um, this game was published in 2010 by Activision and developed by Gaijin Entertainment. It's a flight simulator. Uh, I haven't played it, so I cannot tell you if it's good or bad. Uh, scored uh, 66 points on Metacritic, and this is the German version. Uh, in general, this kind of games, of games tend to keep their value, so keep an eye on it. <clears throat> um, this one is Arcan Arcana Heart 3. Um, it's a fast-paced uh, 2D beat-em-up, similar to the Blaze Blue series, uh, published in 2011 by Arc System Works. Uh, this is the UK uh, Peggy version. I found it new and sealed for only 10 euros. Um, the game was released digital only in North America, so if you live in US or in Canada, you can either buy the UK or the Japanese retail version. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon for around uh, $20. Moving to the next one, Arcania The Complete Tale. Uh, the game was published in 2013 by Nordic Games and developed by Spellbound. It's an action RPG that's set in the Gothic series series originally was uh, the name was Arcania Gothic 4 um, as you can see uh, on the uh, on the 360 60 uh, version Gothic 4 and um, it, um, basically um, for copyright issues Nordic games dropped the, the, the name Gothic from the title uh, I personally had a hard time in finding this for a reasonable price. Uh, that's why I wanted to show you this game and by the way this is the German version. The next one is Armored Core for Answer. Developed by From Software in 2008 and published by Ubisoft. It's an action mecha video game um, recently, uh, Miyazaki, the president of, of From Software, stated that they are developing a new chapter for, of, of this series. Um, I check it today on Amazon.com and it goes for around $20 pre-owned. Uh, and I think uh, it will only increase its value. Um, this is the German version of Earth Arthur and the Revenge of Malthazar, released only in Europe in 2010. Uh, this is definitely a rare game. I discovered the existence of this game only a few weeks ago. Um, I saw the first time the cover and without knowing any background of, of it, uh, I bought it. And this is something that I usually do. Uh, so w when I see a game for the first time under 10 euros, I buy it because there is a high chance it's a rare or uncommon. On Amazon.com it's currently not available and also on eBay there are only a few copies. 
and the price goes uh, between 30 and 50 dollars for a complete version um, I didn't play the game it's a it's a series of mini games uh, related to the movie the next one is Blades of Time published in 2012 by Konami and developed by Gaijin Entertainment. It's a sequel of X-Blades, an action hack and slash mixture between God of War and he Heavenly Sword. Uh, received mediocre reviews but in my opinion uh, is not that bad. Um, I paid it only 7, uh, seven euro and on Amazon cost between uh, 15 and 25 dollars. Um, so again, if you find this game under 10 dollars, buy it. I think it's worth it. So, this one, NBA Ballers Chosen One, developed by Midway Games and released in 2008. Uh, well, as the name, the name says, it's a basketball game where you can uh, live the life of the NBA stars. This is a rarity in Europe since the game has only been released in North America. So in US or Canada it's common but in the rest of the world almost impossible to find. On Amazon UK and the E, at the moment there is only one seller that offers the game for less than 10 euro. Then the price increases to 30, uh, 40 euros, euro or pounds depending on your currency. <clears throat> Um, and if you watched my my previous episodes, I couldn't end this one without uh, talking about the censored game in Germany. This time is Blood Drive, a vehicular combat game that reminds me of Twisted Metal, uh, where you you have to kill a ceaseless horde of zombies in order to survive. It seems to me um, that uh, the German the German uh, censorship has a problem with zombie games. Um, for example, uh, um, also games like Dead Island or D uh, Dying Light are not uh, available in Germany. Um, this is the BBFC 15 UK version and I paid this game 7 euros. Again, if you live in US or UK it's not a big deal to buy this game, but if you live in Germany you can only buy it on Amazon UK or .com. Um, I have the last one, the last game for today is Blade Storm The Hundred Years War, published in 2007 by Koei and developed by Omega Force. Um, it's a real-time strategy game based on, e on the events of historical war between the uh, Kingdom of England and France. I bought the UK version because it was only 60 euro, while the German version cost more, uh, more than 20 euro. Um, so there was, this was the last one for today. Uh, if you like the video, clicking the like button is not a bad, bad idea. And if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on the channel. Uh, as always, feel free to write a comment and see you in the next episode.